Good morning, friends. How are you? All right. Let us take care of our village. <clears throat> sus, sus, sus. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh. Hello, everyone. <sighs> it is Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. Dear Lord. Okay. The other tea day of the week. And we are awake, which is great. Uh, Carol, hey guys! Dealing with a runny and stuffed nose and sore throat, been lurking without my headset on. No worries! Let's first give a shout out to the wonderful Autism Carol. Woohoo! And then we will send a hug your way. All right. Also, welcome in, Beth Jade. Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whatever time it is for you. How are you? What have you been up to lately? September 29th. Oh my gosh, it's almost October. This is crazy. Oh. Forewarning, my schedule next week is gonna be a little crazy. <gasps> Thank you so much, Queen Mew. What is going on there? <laughs> what? Where was my video? That's so funny. Okay, let me check this out. What's going on here? <laughs> <clears throat> welcome in people welcome in oh that's in a that's not a command that's what is that an event twitch channel points no it's a twitch channel points there we go no it's an event okay um no what the heck is this It's just not. What? It's not a command. What? <laughs> Thank you for that magnificent fart. over here for all wow okay so <laughs> I think I updated mix it up bot so we might have some weird things happening with our alerts today I'll see if I can <laughs> fix them over the break well probably not because I was like did it just ah uh, ah uh, uh, don't you just hate it when things don't pour it over correctly okay <clears throat> But welcome in, Queen Mew. <clears throat> Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, what have you been working on in there? Oh, it's label. Label is like my least favorite of the visiting people. Queen Mew, friendly reminder that this stream is secretly sponsored by Mew. Join the Mew army today. We have Pisha and Kitties. Absolutely. Um, it's not even secretly sponsored. <laughs> we are full, full Mew sponsorship here. <laughs>
Angel says, Rawr! Welcome in, Angel. Wait, how is this? Oh, there we go. It's not, my camera's changed because I absolutely just dumped it off my shelf yesterday evening, which was fun. Queen Mew, when I streamed Disney Dreamlight Valley, I did a few things I found and found Donald Duck. Yay! Donald Duck is... Okay, random tidbit about Finland. So Donald Duck is the one that of the of all the character Disney like classic Disney characters that has really taken off here. Disney is like synon like when people when you think of like Disney here, people think Donald Duck before they think um, Mickey Mouse, and it's because there's been just this really wildly successful Donald Duck comic book series that's been going on for a bazillion years. And, yeah, so that's, that's crazy. It's just in, like, the grocery stores. And so, like, little kids read it and have been reading it for, like, generations at this point. <clears throat> so, yeah, random, random tidbit about Finland. What type of pants do we want to wear? Sweatpants. <clears throat> Beth Jade, I love Disney Dreamlight Valley! Yeah, Mew has been streaming it. Also, lots of playing. I have not been playing it because I've been surrounded by so many wonderful people who have been. <clears throat> Yeah, little buns, we'll do that. These are so crazy, I love them. <clears throat> oh no, maybe that's correct. Okay, yes, I will wear the pupette. Give me just a moment though. <laughs> <clears throat> I might be able to fix that right now. Maybe I did something weird. Where is this video at? Where did you think it was at? Miscellaneous games. It's still there. I don't know why you don't think it is. Let's see, is that gonna do it? Okay. I'm gonna go peek at our alert overlay and see what's happening. Let's try it again! Sorry, you guys can tell me troubleshoot this. Nah, it's just like for whatever reason. Why? Why have you done such a thing? Well, we'll fix that later. That's gonna be super hard to see though. <laughs> Okay, Angel, with your expert opinion of being a lion today, how do you feel about um, the Lion King, <clears throat> the live action one? have a backpack that matches my mood. 
We can do a trekking backpack, I guess. <laughs> Beth Jade, you actually look cute! And I had to spoil it with the poop hat. Is it- wait, no, it's- is it- it's not Jade. What is it? Yod? How do you say your- how do you say your name? I'm looking for the key- the clock. <coughs> Speaking of clocks, that did not ring. I have super overbrewed tea now, that's exciting. <gasps> you should have run like so long ago. Oh well. We will. Low dead strong. But not undrinkable at this point. Those are very <laughs> laughable rope. Those are very funky glasses. I approve, right? Okay. Boop hat time. <clears throat> All right. Beth, yes, sorry, yes, it's Jade. I added an extra A to it, as I don't think Beth Jade was available. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. We got people from all over the place coming in here. So I just wanted to make sure I am pronouncing it correctly. Welcome in, Dan. It was so fun to see you in another channel yesterday. I was like, it's Dan in the wild. <laughs> Angel, the movie was bad, but I didn't get to finish watching it because I pawed at the TV, breaking the TV screen in the process, so family sent me to go sleep outside in the cold. Oh, no. Well, yeah. What was the other channel I made? I haven't made, an I haven't made another channel. Oh, I have a YouTube channel. That's what I was talking about in with uh, Oak the other day. Hi, Hema! What has Hema sent? That's just all. Wait, no. Was there something with it? There was! An amazing painting! Whose channel did I see you in? I think it was Oak Do. It was do it. We were doing, it was Minecraft stuff. It would have been like Wednesday morning your time, I think. What am I looking for? I am looking for my credits. <coughs> Guys, I fixed my internet issues. I don't know if I told you. I'm so happy. I'm no longer living in fear of the internet just slowly dying. Hima has sent us an amazing painting. <coughs> Actually, this should probably start a new row. Boop a doop, and I don't think Hima's even here yet to be see me open it, but oh well. She sent it at the end of the day, yes, or end of the Animal Crossing time yesterday, and I was like, I must leave! <laughs> okay. Daniel Gamer, yeah, now I remember I accidentally overwhelmed Oak when I didn't mean to. Oh, really? I didn't, s well, I wasn't there for that if that happened. I'm sorry. Angel, I don't understand. Whenever I go to see people, they scream and run away from me. Oh, no. <coughs> Is it because you're such a fierce lion? I'm sure somebody will want to cuddle the cat inside you someday. <coughs> Mew, I don't care much. Didn't care much for the live action version of the Lion, Q Lion King. Mew preferred the original one. All right. 
Sophie, darling, I was out for a stroll when quite suddenly you sprang to mind. I had this powerful feeling I should write you, and so I have. I don't have much to say, but I do hope my letter has brightened your day. Thinking of you, Petrie. Aww, Petrie. <coughs> I haven't actually seen the live action one because I was like, nah, that doesn't look, doesn't look like something I want to watch. Um, but I have seen the Broadway show, <coughs> which was really well done. They did a lot of, they worked a lot with... Puppets and like shadow stuff. And they had some really great optical, like perspective optical illusion type things. So, yeah, if you ever get a chance to see the Broadway show, it's very well done. It uses like some African art styles, several different African art styles and like the costuming and how things are like stylized, like the sets and props and stuff. <clears throat> it was really lovely. No, you don't get to move. <clears throat> Daniel, do you know Tig's Gal One? Yeah! Somebody had us raid her. I don't remember who it was. Or I went over in a raid from somebody else's channel. But yeah, they're cool. Um, Angel, I'm sure my neighbors wouldn't mind if I played with their dog. Their dog would probably have a great time too. <clears throat> Daniel Gamer, oh, okay, I just came from there. They're playing Disney Animal Crossing. Oh, nice. Oh, that's probably how it got recommended to me. Was there Animal Crossing stuff? They play a bunch of stuff, though, I've noticed. Yeah, how have you liked it? What were they up to today? You found it, you found it! I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master of DIY. Here's the recipe I made in my dream. It's real easy, my head was stuck in the shirt, my shirt, and I still did the DIY. You should try making it too. By Rattle, Master Crafter. Oh man, a cardboard chair! <coughs> All right, let's check the stores. Boop. You speaking of cuddle time with kitties, I think we have one knocking at my door right now. Just a second. a bell. You want to say hi to the people? Yeah. Were you scratching at my door? Did you want to come in and say hi? Yeah. You have cold little toes. Have you been outside? Angel. Oh no, I was playing with my ball and it went in the street, so I'm going to go grab it. Alright, oh, stay safe. Look for cars. Mm, laughable rogue bell. She has abandoned you. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know if she's gonna settle. Queen Mew Kitty! I know she's so great. Mm. Oh, wait, I had things to sell. Yeah, she's looking for a nap spot. Are you looking for a nap spot or are you looking to play? I'm kind of busy right now. 
She says, I know and I hate it. Only play with me. Pop it up. Let's see. Nope, we're keeping those. <coughs> or are you trying to get yourself a little nest under the blankies? Maybe. Oh, sus Santa. Angel, you could absolutely come over and play with my cat. She would probably love it. <laughs> she does not get played with enough. <clears throat> Hello, Mabel. Oh, are you opening my closets? Is that what we're doing? Yep, gotta come in and inspect all the closets. <clears throat> Let's see. Nope. Don't need any of those. Nope. Nope. Mew would spoil the kitty. Angel, I know I'm a big cat, but don't worry, I won't eat her. Okay, good. I like her. I like her not eaten. She would probably be a little bit shy at first, because that's just how she is. <clears throat> but if I gave you treats to give her, she would automatically be your best friend, because she's very food motivated. Mew, Mew would spoil the kitty. Yeah, Mew would just like feed her full of treats. <clears throat> Not surprised. All right, what do we have? Some things for Sunny. Oh, I need to get on with Sunny. Daniel, Kitty just wants to know how the closet is and makes a new bed. I have like a whole wall of like closet type stuff. So she has a lot of doors to inspect. And they have a little bit of a gap between the door when it's closed and the bottom shelf. So she can just like stick her paw under and pull it open. She's just so excited every single time. She's like, look, mom, I opened a door. And I'm like, I'm so proud of you. Now please leave my stuff alone. <laughs> oh, oh, you got that one open. Good job. She's going to go inspect my shoes and my dirty laundry. Angel, I'm a pescatarian lion, so I only eat seafood. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's see if we can turn in any of these. Yes, Daniel, please send a link. What is it gonna be of? Oh, and so you know, I don't have the bot that's smacking people down for sending links. You should be fine. I turned it off. Oh, a model kit that was announced earlier? Yeah, I want to see that. <clears throat> what does this look like? Whoa, it's so pretty. Does it have lights in it? Ooh, I love the purple. That's a very large gun, which is fun. The head looks like the face looks cute. Oh, and it's got like lights in the hips too. Ooh. Does it actually have LEDs in it or is that just kind of a What is Sophie eating? Sophie is eating almond poppy seed cake. <clears throat> it's basically like uh, if you're from the States, it's like, um, it's like a Costco muffin, Costco almond muff poppy seed muffin, or at least that's what it's supposed to taste like because I crave it all the time. Actually, I didn't make this one. Laughable Rogue actually made this one and it's super good. 
Uh. Oh, yeah, we have something. <clears throat> but I haven't really been able to find like almond poppy seed muffins here. There's a lot of almond flavored things. Well, no, it's not so much almond flavored things. It's more like stuff with like marzipan in it. So like almond paste. Daniel says, I know there's no lights. That's just the CGI picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, laughable rogue. Almond poppy seed is not such a thing in Finland, but I'm really glad that I've managed to convert at least one Finn. <laughs> <clears throat> Daniel Gamer. Yeah, but anyway, they ended up announcing two major announcements and the entire hobby community is going bananas. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Let's go see what this amazing painting is. <laughs> Never mind. All right, time to look at art without a poop hat. Oop. Daniel Gamer, yeah, the community is like having a field day. It's like E3 all over again. Nice. <clears throat> An amazing, oh my God, this thing is huge. Holy cow. I think this one, yeah, this one was donated by Hima actually. I wish I could actually write those down. <clears throat> the Night Watch. It's a Rembrandt. This masterpiece painted by 17th century Dutch artist Rembrandt depicts a military gathering. At the time, portraits usually showed the subject standing still, so this was a leap forward in technique. Yeah, that's really cool. There's a lot of motion happening in this picture. For many years, art scholars thought the painting was set at night, but a restoration revealed a dark varnish. Oh. We can see the dynamic poses and lighting as they were meant to be seen in the daytime. It still looks super dark though. Uh, Grey Ranger, gotta love the paintings. Hima, I was summoned. Yes, thank you so much for donating this painting. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, Ruby. Oh, I didn't realize her ears have a little bit of blush at the top. There you go. There you go. Aww. Hello, Bo. Are you going to come say hi to the people? I was not Ruby. It's a lie. It was actually Hima. <coughs> Hima, you are fabtastic. Hey, monster. What you doing? What are we doing? Yeah. Kitty sneak. Angel, can I scratch the painting? Oh, just so everyone knows, Angel's a lion today. Can you scratch the painting? I would prefer not. Not that painting. Oh my gosh, Angel. Speaking of scratching things. So I finished Stray last night. And there's like so many things that you can do. Like, you just go up and you just, like, scratch on random things. It has, like, specific spots for you to do it. <clears throat> but, um... We're, like, solving this puzzle with our little, little robot friend. Who's just like, okay, well, let's do what we do best. You destroy stuff and I'll hack things. And I was just like, yes. And so you go around and you like scratch on boxes of wires and it like unplugs them all or whatever. And then the machine, is, your little robo friend is like, hack it, hack, 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 hack. <laughs> but yes, super great. Kitty Sneaky. Hi, are you, do you want a nap? Yeah. Hi. What's up? We wish to create mischief, but we also want to hang out. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah, looks like we're gonna get Bell nap time. Oh, look at that girl. Look at my baby. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. Hima, guess what? Ooh! Do we have more amiibos? <clears throat> All right. We've got other things that need to go up. Greta and Velma, Velma! Love Velma. Okay, I've got... Are these just statues? Oh, those are all statues. Not sure where I'm gonna stick a statue. <clears throat> Queen Mew Mew sending more stuff to Sophie in the mail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you guys. You're just so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, yes, yeah, this dude. Okay, um. <clears throat> Wait, how many tiles did you take up, my dude? Oh, you're a single tile. I could stick you up there. You are not a single tile. You are like two tiles, but maybe you'll fit up here. Angel, the last time I scratched at a plug, I got my paw slapped. And so I went to go hide in the basement with my yarn. But I learned my lesson. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was very nerve wracking to see the cat just be like, I'm gonna play with sparky things. I'm like, no, please don't. We don't want you to die. <gasps> Daniel Gamer! Oh, just let me boop this bop. Bye. Uh, Daniel Gamer. Dan figured out the quantum crystals thing. Now trying to decide on space colony designs. Ooh, exciting. Oh, you can't even see that one. Well, that's lame. <clears throat> Damn, bot begun. up on the beach at some point. Mud, I would bring scorched earth to the mud. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> uh. 
Alright. What all do we got in here? Let's go say hi to Petrie. Daniel, the bots will feel my wrath. <laughs> oh yeah, because I was doing time traveling. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Petri. Oh, Nintendo, let me hug the villagers. But really, that's like the only thing I really have for mods t that like mods could do for me is like smack bots. It will rain brimstone on the bots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Because if people come in and they're like trolling or being weird, I like to kind of try and see if I can win them over a little bit first. <clears throat> or I like to at least like explain why I'm like, yeah, this is not something that I want on my channel. Bots time is near, the reality is pointless. <laughs> I'm loving the enthusiasm. <laughs> we should probably say hello to hello to all our villager buddies. You're not in there. Mew will bitch slap bots with ban hammer. a clear set of <coughs> guidelines for how I when I boop somebody like an actual person out Aww. Aww. they just like sleep in a bunch don't worry um <clears throat> but if we ever end up with, like, a situation where we have, like, I don't know, like, a lot of bots. Like, if we get bot bombed, bot bombed, then yeah, I will be calling on <clears throat> regulars to help. Let's see. Daniel, the bots would wish they were never programmed or made. <laughs> I mean, they're just doing what they've been told to do. Mew sneaks over. Mew! <laughs> a terrarium. I do. Look at this sleepy bean back here. Yeah. <clears throat> She's definitely a social sleeper. She wants to be around the people. <clears throat> Okie doke. I do not know what to do with these, but that's not this week's problem. This week we're kind of taking a little bit of a break from designing on here which it's good it's good to take a little bit of a break sometimes because that means you can kind of come back with some fresh ideas and perspective <clears throat> Do 
Oh! Oh, we have things! What is this? Mail time? Yes, exactly! <gasps> Mew! Mew art time! Yay! Thank you so much, Mew! You have like. <laughs> you and Hima have like filled up half of my art museum. All right, what do we what do we get? A scary painting? Oh, does it have scream? Or maybe that's not the scary painting. <clears throat> and a moving painting. Ooh, thank you so much. Go turn those in. <clears throat> Daniel Gamer, well, all of this talk about bots gave me an idea for the story. Excellent! Good. I like to hear that. Back to the museum we go. <laughs> Daniel Gamer, should there be androids and cyborgs in the story? Hmm. How would an android or a cyborg feel about mechs? Would they feel like a kinship? Like, that's such an interesting concept. <clears throat> I think, like, cyborgs would definitely be a natural extension of mech tech because you're already, like, have these the technology to be able to control limbs and stuff. Daniel, are what they think it's an abomination or a, a strays to their kind? Mm. <clears throat> oh yeah. Scary painting. Bill, we got a scary painting. Oh, right. I kind of started saying, but next week I am... My schedule is a little bit different. I'm not going to be... S I'm not going to be doing morning streams at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, I don't normally stream... Wednesdays in the morning <clears throat> because I am doing a little a little temp job gonna gonna teach some kids about the wonders of programming um, Daniel Gamer depending on what you'd clarify as an Android or a cyborg well these are absolutely it's your world and your ideas so you can do what you want but I kind of feel like, uh, and other people chime in on this too, but like, androids typically are the ones that are like sentient robots, where there's no part of them that is human. Well, it kind of depends on what system it is, because sometimes like there's a soul attached to the robot or whatever. <clears throat> Or then you get funny thi fun things like Ghost in the Shell, where it's like everything, like it's an entire human that's been uploaded to it, and then you're like, well, where's the line? And that's the whole point of that one. Um, and then cyborgs are like humans with machine augmentations. So...
or like replacement pieces that are machine. This is the moving painting. Oh. <clears throat> the Birth of Venus by Botticelli. Tempera. I don't know what paint that is. A painting of the Roman goddess Venus riding a scallop shell after being born in the ocean. The name Botticelli is said to actually be a nickname given to the artist's brother who was built like a barrel. <laughs> Why this nickname was transferred between siblings is a mystery lost to the ages. Daniel, what if nanobots take over an organic life form? Would they be considered a cyborg or an android? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or a nanobot, nanobot thrall. Ooh, interesting. Oh, so, ooh, thoughts. Um, Grey Ranger, Love Ghost in the Shell, one of my top five anime. I don't know if I've watched the anime. I tried to read the manga, but it got su it had times when it was just super f philosophical. Oops, that was loud. Sorry. Um, and it was just like pages of just paragraphs over trippy pictures, and I kind of got lost in that. <laughs> uh, but it was it was really fascinating. Laughable rogue. Cinder is mad at me because I booped her down from the table. She only wanted to sniff my cake. I don't think almond is good for cats. Yeah, probably not. Also, people food. We don't do people food for cats in this house. <laughs> uh, Daniel Gamer. Oh, right. Now I'm try not trying to figure out this question. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to absolutely explain every single thing also. Where's this scary painting? Oh, it's that one! Oh, look at this dude. <clears throat> Otani Oniji the third as Yako Edobe. It's a woodblock print. Oh. A print from the mid Edo period by. Ooh, I'm so bad. I don't remember what the little lines over the letters means. Shadarko depicting a famous actor of the time. Oh, that's cool. Shadarko made up roughly 140 ukiyo-e prints in his career, even though it only spanned around 10 months. Wow! Oh, man. He was very prolific. Just very busy. All right. I think we are done with this. Grey Ranger, you would be an upgraded human, not exactly a cyborg or an android. I don't know. Yeah. Because then, like, aren't nanobots kind of like a hive mind sort of situation? Where is this at? There we go. Oh, nope. We need that back. Come back. Just a second. Let me turn you off. All right. Gray Ranger, but your body is still flesh and blood with nanomachines. So it kind of has to do with your brain, I think, or like the... The pilot of the body, I think. Because, like... Android is robot body with robot brain. Cyborg is human body plus some robot body with a human brain. Possibly some robot extensions or augmentations to the brain, but it's still the human brain piloting. And then... A nanobot infested human, depending on how, what the nanobots are doing. If nanobots are in control, then I think it would be yeah, nanobot brain and human body. I don't know. Sounds really fun. Laughable Rogue. A human 
mind moving into a cloud of nanobots would be a transhuman, I'd say. But I don't think it is exactly the situation the question is describing. So that's like a human mind controlling a cloud of nanobots without a human body in the mix? Daniel uh, at Grey Ranger, but what if they start replacing memories of the organic life and start actually controlling it? Would that be more of an android or a cyborg? Like both, like um, android has fully machine body and a cyborg still has a human brain in charge. So if it's starting, I think it would be like Laughable Baroque. If the nanobots are in control, I'd almost call it a hive. Yeah. Grey Ranger, then you might just be a robot if you had no brain of your own. Well, but like, robot brain in a human body, what is that? A Cylon. <laughs> I don't actually know. I'm, I'm not a Battlestar Galactica person. <clears throat> Or an assimilated human. Yeah, there we go. That's what that is. Thank you. Thank you. Like the Borg. Uh, how do I turn you off? Like that. Oh, not obvious. Wait, wait, okay. There we go. Now we need Slime Ranger. Daniel Gamer. Yeah, we're all just like, ah. <laughs> Resistance is futile. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey, go. We having a nice little nap over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Steam is updating. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Maybe. Rogue, until the nanobots are in control, I'd call it a tragic cyborg. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. We were gonna open up a new area, like a new farm area today. Oh yeah. I can get up there. Oh, I can get up there from over there. Oh, there's like a whole thing up here. Hello. There you are. My goodness. Sneezes. Hello, hello! Accessing GG log. I had the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before. I was so happy to see it standing there again. It's glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done, for a moment, I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I would just walk inside and start again like nothing had happened. And though I know that's not the case, it was still nice to finally be home again. What? Who is this person? 
Uh... <laughs> Queen Mew, Sophie will be assimilated into the collective. Resistance is, fu resistance is futile. Yeah, what benefits do the collective have? Does, is there dental? <laughs> do we get, like, free pastries on Fridays or something like that? Is there a union? <laughs> Rogue, at least if the human mind is recognizing it is losing its own cognitive function and suffering from the idea of its identity and individuality, eroding as it is becoming part of the swarm. Yeah, tragic. Tragic android. Or tragic cyborg. Um, I don't know if the human is welcoming the idea of becoming a part of the nanobots hive or we're swinging back to trans... Oh, yeah. Oh, so if they are welcoming that, then we're swinging back to transhuman. Okay. Yes. Uh, Rogue, because they are embracing the idea of moving on from human existence and becoming a new kind of entity. Yeah. Daniel Gamer. But anyway, interesting thing, by the year 2054, humanity will probably balance out and probably start turning into a hive mind. Ooh, that sounds cool. Queen Mew, you got lots of Pisha and Kitties, though. You get lots of Pisha and Kitties? That sounds like good... Those are good benefits. I will welcome this. Where's the drone for this one? Well, let's go ahead and go in here, okay. So we have a cool little tunnel thing. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is nice. Now, where is this robot? Oh, you're up there, probably. Let me up here. There you are. Hello. Accessing GG log. I sometimes used to bring my lunch here and stare at these colossal fossils, wondering what this world looked like when they were alive. It's a world of slimes now, but who knows what it was before? And if the universe has room for a whole world and its ecosystem changing course, maybe we should accept the same of each other. Geez, talking about the past sure resonates these days. I wonder what profound thoughts I had to share back then. Got all kinds of cool things happening in here. Okay. Got a plot over here. This goes up. What the heck? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, do you just, do we have a chicken fountain in here? As many as there used to be. Okay. I hear chickens. There might be a chicken fountain in here. Okay, but there was a path over there. Uh, Daniel wants to know what transhuman is. Laughable Rogue. I think it's going to take a lot more than 32 years for humanity to become balanced in any way, shape, or form. But that is neither here nor there, and I will nip this idea because I'm getting political. Yes! Bonk! No politics. Um... Transhuman. Let's go look this up.
All right, Wikipedia says transhuman is the concept of an intermediary form between human and posthuman. In other words, a transhuman is a being that resembles a human in most respects, but who has powers and abilities beyond those of standard humans. These abilities might include improved intelligence, awareness, strength, or durability. Transhumans appear in science fiction sometimes as cyborgs or genetically enhanced humans. So yeah, transhuman is a... There you go, Daniel. <clears throat> it's a big... over. It's like an umbrella term. Or kind of a like a like a catch-all term for a lot of things, uh, because transhuman can also mean like a spiritually awakened person. Like the Avatar is a, is like Aang. The Avatar is a transhuman. He's got like wait, you know maybe probably because he's got extra special powers beyond just the humans. Uh, but yeah, like. <clears throat> It means, a, it's like a lot of stuff. It can be sci-fi, can be like fantasy type stuff too. Oh, and then I can buy more. Oh, okay, so it's like the docks before. But yeah, it absolutely includes like cyborgs and genetically enhanced humans and magically enhanced humans just all the enhanced humans okay how do we wanna what does this map look like over here they need to be by themselves well or we could just stick we could put our carnivores out here one two three see I think we have a chicken fountain in the area or they just kind of naturally spawn. A chicken fountain. <laughs> just a spot where they just naturally spawn. But like in the old game, it would just be like chickens just springing out of the ground. Lawful Baroque. Personally, I think that as long as their thought and decision-making process remain human in majority, they are transhuman. Post-humanity starts once their thought process becomes incomprehensible from a human standpoint. Well, there's more to it, but eh. Fair, fair. Angel. Angel's gonna sleep. I hope you have a wonderful, nice little rest, friend. And that you dream your best lion dreams. Okay, let's feed, let's feed the hungry babies. Oh, we have a chicken that has gotten out. Laughable rogue. Like, our human emotion is highly reactionary and exists in response to our envir environment and experiences. Back in the 
up, chickens. This is the funniest thing to me. Okay, we got some old, old chickens. So yeah, laughable rogue like also have completely alien which is like not a human comprehensible brain but um but not necessarily Not necessarily. Like, not necessarily mechanical? Wow, brain. Uh, laughable rogue. And a cloud of nanobots would obviously lack stuff like hormones that affect normal human thinking. But maybe they are an advanced enough that they can run simulation of how their past self reacted to this stuff. And from that, extrapolate how they would have reacted. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Gamer, just saying, Grey Ranger and Laughable Rogue would be perfect for storyboard members. Just saying. <laughs> I'm so happy people are being nerdy in my chat. It's just great. Upgrade all the things. Laughable rogue, but then we get to stuff like the minds from culture, which are capable of emoting and acting human, and are obviously inhuman in nature. Culture? Is that a book? Or is it like a movie, TV series? <clears throat> Sounds fascinating. book series. Oh, okay. Nice. I need to make like a repository thing over here. Oh. Culture. I'm gonna have to ask you about that later, because that sounds interesting. Laughable rogue. Mines are 
Mines are these super advanced 12 dimensional or something like that AI entities that host a post scarcity society. They host society? Ooh, fascinating. They inhabit giant spaceships or space stations. Ooh, cool. Let's feed the pink bunnies. Hello. Woohoo. Ooh, and all kinds of aliens and humans live on them. Okay. Fascinating. have those yet. Okay, I need the butterfly points in there. <sighs> I haven't been able to find the bats yet. Plurks need to be in there though. Ooh. Honestly, a refinery leak link would be really not enough resources. Oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> that would be it. Refinery link would be really nice. and sleep. Cocktail ports. Do we need the anglers in here? We've got enough. Thank <laughs> you. 
Daniel, what are your plans for your um, story? Do you have like any plans for like when it's finished or are you just kind of just writing it to enjoy writing, which is absolutely valid. I will tell you that. Jelly's down downstairs. Just for fun? Nice. Yeah. Let's see. No, I wanted a refinery link. Nice. Okay, that's gonna make my life slightly easier. Still trying to think of space colony designs? Mm. Mm, pizza's not, er, uh, Muse nomming some pizza. Nice. Baroque. I actually had a sci-fi story idea where a human got their mind loaded into an advanced robot chassis that was capable of running a simulation of how their human brain and whatnot would have reacted, but it was super slow on computer terms. <laughs> and when they had to step out of the human brain simulation to keep up with the demand for processing power, their thoughts inevitably started to become less and less human. Oh, interesting. Mew doesn't have a pizza? Maybe next week? Oh. Sad. The sci-fi story I've been vaguely working on, well, I haven't worked on it in a couple years, but that's just sitting in the back of my head, is um, one where, what, I can't set stuff there? Maybe something is going to come there at some point. I guess we'll put you here. Ha ha ha. Perfect. Um, is one where the main character can telepathically communicate with, or kind of empathetically and telepathically communicate with robots. Oh, that's the refinery, not the market. Damn. Oh, well. Hmm. 
between me, a boyfriend owes me pizza. Nice. Daniel Gamer, any ideas on space colony design? Yeah, Daniel, not everyone who, like, some people, let's see, so, how can I explain this? Um, sometimes people want to just chat about cool ideas, like, just out on the wild somewhere, like, in whatever sort of chat room you're in, um, but don't necessarily want to uh, commit to, like, commit to kind of like a, a deeper participation. So, I think that's kind of what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exact. Thanks, Laughable Rogue. Yeah, people interactions can be confusing on the internet. So, no worries, Daniel. We are all we are all learning. <laughs> and it's like it's nice to see people excited about their things they're doing, and it's very great that you want to make, uh, like get to know people through exploring ideas. But yeah. Some people will be like, heck yeah, I have time and energy for something like that, and other people will have a lot of other things going on in their lives and just don't have the time or energy or they just kind of feel nervous about um, jumping in and like talking on a more personal level I guess than just um, chilling with somebody in a Kind of a bigger chat. Yeah. I may have too many carnivores now. Having mild regrets. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, now my cats are happy at least. Oh, you guys are omnivores. You'll eat anything. Okay. I don't have to be too worried about that. Okay. What are we doing? Guess we could go do some more exploration. That needs to happen. <gasps> Victor Humphreys! Hello! Beatrix, I have something I must share with you about the AI. As you know, we've been exchanging questions with one another. While well, this back and forth became faster and more casual over time, almost like a natural conversation. And next month, we're getting married. No. <laughs> I assumed it was simply evolving, adapting to the style of talk it observed in me, but then something happened. Well, we had begun playing games of Go as we talked, a way I could further test its intellect and no doubt how it could test mine. These games would go long into the night and so would our conversations, feeling more and more natural, even though I knew that the entity I was speaking to was just a complex collection of code. But then one day, as the sun was rising, it suggested just one more game. I said certainly, but I needed to make myself a cup of coffee if I were to stay awake for it. And it replied, me too. I know, Victor, this is like a person. <laughs> I just stared at the screen, not knowing what to say, but then suddenly, as if it knew what it had just done, it disconnected. <gasps> oh, Daniel! Would a clone with the same memories be the same character? Laughable Rogue posits, at the moment of creation, yes, but they diverge immediately. 
Yeah. I would think so. I agree with that assessment. <gasps> Victor, I have not heard from them since, but I do hope I do. Until then, I will wait, staying busy with my work as always, asking those questions that need answers. But I will do so with the Go board ready for another game. Someday, anyway. Oh, Victor. I'm so sorry that your friend left you. Goodbye, Beatrix. I hope we talk again soon. Mochi Miles. B, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've analyzed one of the drones you have been finding all over the island and know why it seems so familiar to me. It's mine. Or at least, it's one that I've seen before. In my dreams, anyway. What the f- What? After I looked at scans I took of it, I knew it was familiar, so I began looking through some old slime science journals of mine. These journals are mostly future projects, but sometimes they're speculative technology. You know me, I'm always thinking six steps ahead to keep mochi tech on top of the industry. Well, sometimes I come up with impossible, stuff that I may never engineer in my lifetime. Well, those drones you're finding are exactly that, impossible with today's technology and taken right from the pages of my journals. There's something I saw in a dream, B. So how did I... How did a bunch of impossible drones I designed in a dream find their way from the pages of my journals to Rainbow Island? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's some kind of archive in them we can unlock to learn more. I know they contain data logs, but if it were me, well, I always know how to find a way of holding back what I need to. Okay, B, I need some time to think on this. I'll let you know if I come up with anything. Maybe I'll sleep on it. <gasps> I love these characters. It's so nice to see them come in again. Hiya, B. How's life out there on Rainbow Island? Gosh, it's even fun to say. Must be a hoot. You know, ever since I heard you were off doing something new, I got to thinking about my own life and what's next. What's the next new for me? Hobson and I have both seen and done so much in our lives. Been one adventure after another across this dusty rock. And ever since we've become acquainted, we haven't slowed down one bit. Oh, they're just so cute. So we're looking to take a new adventure together. But we just haven't figured out what or where. Maybe we go exploring some hidden nook of far, far range like you. Or even set our sights to the stars like Hobson had done before. Whatever we decide to do, it'll be all the more special because we'll be sharing it this time with each other. It's that part that makes it all the more exciting. It's so hard to find someone in this world that fits you completely. Such a rare thing, like finding two identical snowflakes in the desert. I know you feel that more than I can say. I ain't ever losing sight of how, just how lucky I am, B. I want to use the gifts the universe has seen fit to give me. You keep your head up, girl. We'll chat again soon. Oh, I just love I just love all of the friends. All the neighbors are wonderful. Queen Mew sneaks off to raid Sophie's fridge and more cuddle time with the kitties. Oh Mew wants to cuddle you, Belle. She'd be so happy. She loves sleeping on top of people. Hmm. What can we do? We could go unlock the pink. See what that gets us. Alright, Daniel Gamer. Yeah, trust me, I'm taking everything in. I'm just trying to arrange it around and organize it and so on. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big job. Go away, Pink. Oh, 
look at how pretty this sunset is. Queen Mew, if I still had my last cat when I was down sick last week, she would have cuddled me with, with me and purred me to sleep to make me feel better. Oh, I love nurse kitties. This one is sometimes like that. Oh, I could have gone that way. exciting. Okay, we want to go there. Yep. There it is. More food! Oh no! I don't want to give you the chickens. I have other things that need chickens. What the heck is this? I was gonna take that down. Ooh, we have a new area, friends! We have a new area! Oh, yes! Ha ha! Alright, we need to go put our stuff down. Uh, Daniel Gamer, well I mentioned earlier the quantum crystals, they come in colors and there's 10 of them. They have effects and properties to each other and so on. There's multiple tiers or levels of them. Nice! Yeah, we got a new area! Because I think we like mostly got through that one. Okay, refinery link is this way. Okay, this is the way. It just takes a little bit. Oh yeah, there's the refinery link. Homeward, homeward, homeward. 
we go. Daniel, I'm just trying to figure out what held the original and so on, like they are created, or do they naturally occur? Oh. Or how they originate? Oh, okay. Hi, Phil. Oh my goodness, do we want to cuddle? Yeah? Come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Ah, cat, come here. Here we go. Oh, hi. <laughs> do we want to cuddle? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Hi. There we go. Hi. Little lover. have stony hands in here. Yeah. Wait, here we go. Okay. We have a happy cat. Yeah. Baby. Yes, this is my baby. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, are you a baby? Olen Valva. Yeah. Olen Valva. You guys get the wrong, wrong ones today. Oh, happy cat. Let's get you guys pumped up a bit more. <gasps> hey, Dohima! Yeah, we just got, got just the happiest kitten. Yeah, you like sleeping on your back. It's kind of funny. Mm. Yeah. Um, now that we've emptied our pockets, let's go! <coughs> God, it's so far over there. Okay. I yes, I love you very much. Yeah. She says I want participatory cuddles. Love me. Okay. Following the path. Wrong path. Okay. Here we go. And I think it's over here. Yep. <coughs> here we go. Here we go. New area, guys. New area. Prime bell cuddles. Yeah, cuddles. Mm. Level Baroque. I have a modern with magic sitting in the back of my mind where all my main, all the main characters are people I've been in my dreams. I have so many weird dreams. Ooh, that would be cool. You do have weird dreams. 
Where the heck are we? Don't know. How do we get down? Over here. Whoa! So many things. This is how we just get back up. Let me up! Yep. New area! Slime C. Okay. Oh, there's little glowing daisies. They're so cool. area so water spout to get us up higher there was a cave thing down here though which looked kind of interesting oh or just the walk through under here okay That's where we're supposed to go with that. Okay. Ah! No! <laughs> I keep getting knocked around with my... Okay, where do we want to go? We want to go up there. Oh yeah. Slime bait. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have some angry slimes through here. Oh yeah, very many angry slimes. The water spouts are kind of a new mechanic. So much coral stuff. This is really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna find crystal slimes around here somewhere. Gonna get 
gets us some sand. And that's it. That's all that's over here. Oh wait, there's more stuff over there. Okay. Runes are really fun. Just a happy face. Oh, hi guys. Another odd onion. Accessing GG log. The first time I was here, I turned this entire rune complex into a beautiful garden. I'd never know the original purpose of this place, but I thought its creators might be happy knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had purpose. There's no time for that now, but I am going to at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here and hope that in time, they'll flourish and cover these runes once more. Maybe if I ever make it back home, I can see it myself. Nice. Aw, lots of flowers. Okay, let's see, can we make it over there? Probably. Yeah. Oh shit, no, I do not wish to die. Okay. Ha oh! ha! You went down? Here, put you back on the chair. There you go. So hungry. Poor little guy. Then we could go this way. Oh, there's another bee over here. Hello. Accessing GG log. I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about these geysers. They're still fun as heck. I think I can afford a few minutes for a splash like the old days. Use the geysers. <laughs> I cannot quite get all the way up on that. Oh, but I don't have to. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Hello. A dash pad? That's cool. Crazy Miss Doll, kind of the same. Haven't found the crystal slimes yet. But I found their food, so that means that they're probably around here somewhere. What all do we got going on? Oh, there's the map. Is that a crystal? <laughs> Ember Valley. Nice. Ooh, there's a cave system over there. How do we get to you, though? I guess we just kind of keep going around the way we've been going.
Okay, there is some stuff over that way too. Ooh, a volcano! That's really exciting. Oh, there's a way through over here. Nice. Slimes. Hello. Oh no, baddies and crystals. Where are the crystals though? And a water slime. Hi. Oh, that goes down into the sea. We don't want to go there. Now we have four water slimes. Rock crystal Largo. Do we have any crystals? There you are. Oh, they look slightly different. Oh. Damn. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go back. Well, but now I know where to find them. Nothing I can feed you. Accessing GG log. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself, that I would prove to my parents that my choice was the right one and they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch and, and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Parents? What? There was stuff down there. What are you? Oh, it's oil! We found oil, friends. New warp depot. And another one of the little tonic big guys. Ah, uh, why? Just not getting the... Okay. 
Okay, I'm starting my jets too early and that's counteracting things. Note to self. How do we... Oh, we got so far to go. Ooh. Oh yeah, we were over there. There's runes over there. Wow, we got so far to go. Uh, I can try going over that way. Okay, guys, do you have any theories on who this person is that we've been following all of their stuff? I feel like there might be some time, time wibbly wobbly stuff happening, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hey. the wrong direction, but this is interesting. Let's go see what this is. Oh, there's the Firelands over there. Um. Oh, we need to go back the other way. Oh, there's water up here. Another bat. Okay. Is this is where I need to go. That is where I need to go. Okay, so we have to go through the cave. That's fun. Pretty little cave. If I get up there... Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Drop down. Okay. Oh, another little slime statue area. What is over that way? That way is our house, probably? Is the thing that's giving off the light? Okay, cave time, cave time. Oh yeah, more baddie slimes, that's good. Holy shit, that's gonna be a, a 
trick to get that put in. Alright, let's go take a look at this side. Oh. It's you. Yeah, go down there. Okay. Hello. Is this sand? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Get him. Get in there. Man. Good thing you guys multiply. Get in there. Oh shit! No! I lost all of my things! <laughs> No! No, no, no! The slimes are restless. We should feed them. Goes. Here we go. Well, after we take care of my slimes, I think I'm going to need to uh, go ahead and take my break. Eat some more food besides muffins. And... Yeah. Come back and do some Minecraft later. Which has been like a week, so that's gonna be interesting. Oh, I had three water slimes. Oh well, well now I know where to get them, so there's that. How good you've been at making stuff. Good job, little water slime. All right.
See, I know the water ones need to go in here. Okay. Oh, hello. Did I throw any of those elsewhere? There were two of them! Where did the other one go? That's gonna come back and bite me in the butt later. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I think everybody's mostly happy now. Yeah, you guys are happy. Here you guys go, lots of stuff. Right. What can we do? Yeah. So I think that we should have, uh, yeah, we need to wrap up. So if you guys know of any. Yeah, Belle, you can come up for this. Meow meow. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just give me a second. Hi. Oh. Meow meow meow. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Whoop. All right. Let's go ahead and go over to some self promo time. All right, my friends. Uh, as we are starting to wrap up, <laughs> Hima, no! I'll be back on in like an hour and a half. So go take a break yourself. I'll be back in like an hour and a half and be doing some Minecraft, but I don't know if that's like bedtime for you. Oop, here we go. <laughs> We're doing gardening in Dreamlight now. Who will I listen to? Hima, I'll be back. I actually do afternoon streams on Thursdays. Yeah. Oh, can you guys hear the purr? It's not super loud yet. But yes, so we're going to go ahead and do some self promo time. Um, friends, if you also, if you have anybody in your following list right now that is streaming that you would uh, like to recommend that I'm looking for a new, fr to make a new friend. Um, so yeah, please, please recommend channels for rating to me. I would love that. Uh, does not have to be related to anything that I do. We're just, we're just making new friends this month. Um, oh yes, big sigh. What else? Oh, I love that B has like more idle animations in this. So nice. Um, but yes, we're gonna do some self promo time. This is the time during the stream where I like to turn the spotlight onto you wonderful people in the community who also do cool things on the internet. There are ads happening. Okay. There are ads happening, Belle. Oh no. She says, it's sleepy time. I don't care. Ugh. But yeah. So we will. So. If any of you in who have been hanging out with us today, either in the chat or lurking, totally fine, um, please tell us ya bro jamo. All right. Thank you for the recommendation, Hima. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys also do things on the internet that you would like other people to know about, please let me know in the chat. Because I like to go check out the things people are doing. And um, 
I know that there's other people in our community who like to do that too. Ooh, they're playing Cyberpunk 2077. That totally like goes along with what we've been talking about today. That's cool. Thank you so much for the recommendation, he recommendation Hema. But yeah, so if you do things like streaming here on Twitch or if you have like uh, you make content for some other sort of social media or media platform. Um, if you're growing a community somewhere and you want to uh, assimilate new people into the cool cool communities that you have elsewhere. Uh, Hima, I think you can go ahead and do the raid message yourself if you can remember what it is. Um... But yeah, let's see. Man, my brain is just all over the place today. Um, basically, if you are, if you have anything on the internet that you would like people to know that you do, if this is, oh no, that's not quite it. It's raid underscore msg. I know that makes sense to no one but me. I'm so sorry. Oh, catbot would be a great command. We're gonna have to do that at some point. Um. Man, y'all know the drill. Uh, if you don't hold on for the ride, and as you see what's happening, let me know if you do also do things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll up through this chat and uh, shout out people that have been hanging out with us today that ha that I know for sure do things on the internet because we've talked about it before. But if you're new or if I forget you or if you've been lurking, please just come out and say, hello, I do a thing. And we'll be like, yay, you do the thing. So we have had Queen Mew gracing us with her presence today. She's been working on Disney Dreamlight Valley lately, which is awesome. I need to go watch. Watch your VODs. Uh, what, who else have we had hanging out with us today? Anybody else that does things? Oh, sorry. We got a we got a twitchy ear over here. Uh, Gray Ranger did no. Gray Ranger didn't do things on the internet. Um, who else have we had? We had kind of a. We've had a lot of people, but it's most of the more of the people who don't really do much else. I mean, you do other things for sure, but not things that we can shout out or link to doop -doop -doop. yep that's pretty much it unless somebody else is in lurk and wants to come out and say hi um also just some housekeeping community knowledge stuff um i will be coming back in about an hour and a half to do some Minecraft after I eat some lunch and do some chores. Um, and then that'll be for probably a good four hour chunk. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern European time, I believe we are, we will be not doing Slime Rancher, we are going to be touring Teenie's Island, I think. I haven't seen her all week, so I'm hoping that she still remembers. <laughs> um. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, we will not be, probably not have any streams because I am substitute teaching. Uh, so I probably, I would get done in time to do maybe some afternoon evening stuff, but like I'm probably going to be dead. So we'll be back on Thursday of next week with Animal Crossing and Minecraft. Um, yeah. That's pretty much that's pretty much what's going on over here. I need to update my schedule. I'll probably do that after this. All right, let's go say hi to ya bro Jamo. Ya bro, yeah, your bro Jamo. And let's go do that. And we will see you guys probably hopefully back here in a little bit. Um if not, we will see you later on in the week. He must see you Sophie for now. Yep, we will see you see you later. <laughs>